Fouad Mohamed Agad was a French national who travelled to Syria to fight with ISIL, but instead became a mass murderer at home in one of France's most violent attacks in a hundred years. His father says he would have killed him if he'd known. I didn't know he came back. I knew he was in Syria. He left two years ago. Of course I'm surprised. I would have killed him before if I'd known what he would do. Agad was identified by DNA shared with the police by his mother, who lived in an area just north of Strasbourg. She's reported to have received a text message from his wife in Syria, saying, quote, your son died a martyr with his brothers on November 13. Agad's former neighbor says he would never have guessed he could be involved in such violence. The guy always said hello to me. He was always respectful. What I mean is he was a sweet guy. I know him, not more than that. I don't know what to tell you. I'm shocked. Agad left for Syria in 2013 with a group of up to 12 men from the same area. Six of them came back in 2014 and were arrested, including his brother Karim. He was in touch with his brother, he was in touch with his mother. He always told them, until the last exchanges they had a few months ago, that he wouldn't come back to France and that he would go to Iraq. It's not clear how he got back into France without being detected by security services. But he became part of the group in the Bataclan Theatre, who killed most of the 130 people who died on November 13. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.